Yeah, so the the pigs are here this this afternoon, and uh, you now Footy is waiting for me there. Yeah. Oh, cheeky. Uh, nice to come down in the afternoon not too much wind and my old faithful yeah with me on footy sun behind us yeah Few days later and it's all dried out eh? yep look at this a little patch of water here and that's it Okay, so stop quickly at our marker, the push bar, and uh, it's quite interesting to see how flat this has become. So that dark patch over there, that was basically the old channel, but uh, what's really nice about this, hopefully there won't be too much sand movement there in the front, um, that uh, when you get the next spring tide, there's a lot of water coming straight over the top, and then once again into this channel here. struggle to come over the top Got the lambune in the background once again interesting formations forming here in the sand and uh, some flozy water will start arriving and it's gonna push this channel longer and longer heading north again imagine seeing you here but like love that shirt James yeah, I love that shirt. Look at that, folks. Hey. <laughs> Any fish, James? Nah, nothing. Nothing, eh? But it looks nice. So I've left, just left James, and you can see how wide the mouth is. Really good. Oh, now we see the strong current coming in from from the Amphalosi and all the water that's fallen. We've had uh, close to 200 millimeters of rain in the last while, so it's uh, quite special with the fresh water running out of here. It's uh, quite a bit. Let's stop quickly just to show you. Hopefully, you'll be able to see the color line. And so, you've got that light chocolate color. The back there and that's the Amphalosi water and the darker color here in the front is the, is the water from the lake system you see the tide starting to push now I just arrived here at the pinnacle I'm liking what I'm seeing folks bit of a color line there where Amphalosi is coming through
Doesn't look like there's much change here for me, folks. The guys again launching the boats here. Let's see all the marks. Western side. Again, you can see how the formation has changed. Yeah, this is an interesting vector. Movement on the water. I'm thinking these are prawns. Again, you can see all of these reeds covered with beach sand and the width of this bank put here across there. Well, there you go, folks. Until the next video, be safe, everybody. Uh, racing this guy this morning, but uh, I'm not sure if I got much of a chance, eh? Morning everybody. Did an afternoon video. And I'll quickly do a morning one. Take it slow here on the boardwalk. It could be a little bit slippery. Obviously, we've got to be aware of the crocodiles. It's low tide, you can see there's no water down there. Yeah, when there was so much rain, this was all full of water. Obviously everything has dried up. Yeah, a little stalk. I'm sure he's waiting for barb and stuff to come out. You can see how this channel is forming and there's a little bay here. Tips are launching out of. Only one boat out this morning. You can see the water is a nice chocolate brown color. And that's because of all that fresh water now from the rain that's coming through. A pretty sunrise. It's, uh, you can see the color line is quite exceptional. I oh, got it. Yep, there we go. You can see. Looks like he's got a little tilapia. And he's gonna eat him. Yo, 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 he's gonna get away, get away. <laughs> ah, in the shallows there, that fish don't got too much of a chance, I must say. of debris lying all over the place which uh, is a very good indication that uh, there's a lot of water coming down the river you see there's our pole that we use as the marker often 
and uh, you can see how this this channel is starting to head north what a beautiful color line this morning Nice and strong is a ride along here. again oh, the sunrise is really pretty really pretty and as I stand here you hear these blocks of sand breaking away as the water eats it away up along there in the distance stunning with the with the clouds As I head here towards the end, you can see these old reed beds dying away. Clay. It's a really pretty morning. It was a bit drizzly when we left, but my oh my. much change here but it's still really special with the water being so calm because of lack of wind you can see there's quite a bit of fish movement and prawn movement there's the town up at the back there. There's a ski boat club over there. No oh, hippos. I wonder if they know that big water's coming. Also, don't see any crocodiles. really pretty well there you go folks until the next video be safe everybody